Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. What house should we renovate today? That is the question. The house that is hiding something. Let's do this one. If I remember correctly, there's a secret in this house. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, if you think about it. Let's take a peek and see what we have to work with here. We have a lawn that needs to be mowed, as always. They do have like a little garden area over here, which is kind of cool. Some weeds and stuff that we'll need to uh, do something with, but that's fine. Some graffiti. I imagine the backyard is also a little... Yeah, okay, yeah, some mow the lawn, no big deal. Uh, all right, let's go through the front door. So we get the full experience. We have a house that is very dirty. <laughs> Lots of garbage. Looks like someone threw like a wild party or something. Uh, bathroom in here. This is actually a pretty large bathroom. We have a downstairs. With walls. There's something back here behind this wall, I'll bet. That's probably where the secret is. And then a bedroom, right? Yeah, and a pretty large bedroom, too. So what have we got? We've got one bathroom, one bedroom, a living room, and then a downstairs. I feel like we will probably do some tweaks here with the wall. Let's just take a peek and see what's back here. Let's take out this wall. What have we found? Ooh, I got a new skill point. Uh, faster demolition. There we go. Look at that. We have found a $56,000 Da Vinci original. Not too bad. Now the question is, do we want to incorporate this into the house or do we want to sell it? I think for $56,000, we sell it. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's really even a question. Anyway, I'm going to get the house cleaned up, yard taken care of, etc. You know the drill by now. Well, I think I have everything done. I've patched all the holes in the walls. I have mowed the lawn. I've gotten rid of all the trash, cleaned out all the furniture, etc. Although I just realized I don't think... Oh no, I did. I got rid of the stuff down there as well. Even swapped out a spark plug in the uh, the breaker box downstairs. Ooh, forgot a couple lights. So now we need to decide if we want to make changes to the interior upstairs uh, and what colors we want to paint, if we want to change out the floor, which I think we do. I think we do. Uh, I think I want to go with a different colored floor here and, uh, you know, some other stuff like that. So let me start figuring things out and then I'll be back. Okay. Next step is done. So here's how I've kind of divided. Oh, I got to wash the windows, too. Didn't even think of that. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, so here's my thinking. I've carpeted pretty much the whole house with this just plain white carpet. I went with this brown tile in the bathroom. Not entirely sure if I'm going to keep that. But what I've done is I've torn out a bunch of these rooms. I've left one bedroom over here. We're going to put a kitchen over here, which means that this carpeting is also going to go away, but it's it's there for now. It's fine. Uh, this will probably be like a little living room area, and then I think we'll probably have space to incorporate a dining room over probably right around here-ish as well, like a dining room table. Uh, so dining room, living room, and kitchen will all be upstairs. This will be a bedroom. This will be a full bathroom with a shower and everything. And then if we go downstairs, I put a bedroom here and a bedroom here with a shared bathroom. So there will be two doors that lead into this bathroom. And this bathroom will just be a little half bath with just a toilet and a sink and that's it. So that's kind of the plan. I may still tweak this down here as well. I think I might put like a washer and a dryer like up against this wall. Um, in which case the carpet would have to go, but I'm still thinking about that. We'll, we'll see. Uh, point is, I've kind of got a plan now. So I'm going to clean the windows and start putting in furniture and doors and all that kind of stuff. I've got the bathroom finished. 
and I like it. It turned out pretty well. It's a nice spacious bathroom. We've got a shower, a little sink area, and toilet over here. I did put in a towel radiator just to fill the space on the wall. I know they're not a thing in the United States, but uh, sure, we'll put it there. Then I added some shelves over here, more for the wood colors than anything else, because we've got all this wood over here, and then over here there's none of it. So I figured, you know what, let's bring some of those colors over to this side of the room as well and just put in a couple wood shelves. So pretty simple bathroom, nothing uh, super crazy, but uh, it works out pretty well. Also, uh, couldn't really find a good like shower mat, a good floor mat, you know, for when you step out of the shower. I couldn't find anything. So this is actually a like a welcome mat, <laughs> um, but it works. You know, it doesn't say welcome on it or anything like that. Um, and it's the right colors. So I'm like, you know what, we'll use that. Perfect. Okay, so now I think the next step is probably the kitchen, living room, and dining area. Well, it took me a little while, but I'm quite happy with the result. So we've got our kitchen area over here. I did put a grill out back. Um, we went with kind of a gray wood and white countertop theme. Uh, fridge just fit over here, got some cabinets, got our stove, all the necessary things that you need for a kitchen. And then over here, we snuck the couch and TV kind of into the back corner over here with a dining room table and a sideboard over here. So all in all, you know, fairly nice room. Like, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, so now we got to tackle the bedrooms here and then the two downstairs. First bedroom is done and it was super, super quick because it's a really tiny space. So I painted the walls moody cobalt uh, and I went with, I believe, cedar for all of the wood furniture. So we have a bookshelf, a uh, dresser, a couple of shelves and a pretty small little bed. And then I just threw up a painting and some curtains. As I said, it's a really small space, so there's only so much we could do here. Uh, one thing I do want to do real quick is just add a blind. There we go. Just add those to the windows. So, okay, easy enough. Now for the downstairs. All right, the downstairs bathroom is done. It took like, it was super quick. I mean, look at this. It's such a small space. <laughs> And all I really wanted in here was a, a sink and a toilet anyway, a little half bathroom. So this took like no time at all. Um, you know what? I was thinking about it, though, and I think we'll do one of these rooms together because we haven't really done a whole lot of that. Because the thing is with this game, it's often a very time consuming process. You know, lots of experimentation and trying this and deleting it and so on and so forth. Um, I usually end up putting a couple hours into each one of these houses. Um, and then cutting it down significantly. But let's do one of these together. So I think when you're doing a bedroom, and this room and this room over here are both gonna be bedrooms, I think when you're doing a bedroom, it's always best to start with the bed because that's kind of the single most important part of the bedroom. And I kind of like the idea of having like a, a hide-a-bed or a folded, what are the, what's it actually called? A wall, a, a, a Schweiger wall bed. It, it's a bed. It, it's a hide-a-bed. I would call it a hide-a-bed. Um, let's maybe go cedar. I think will look nice. Uh, mattress is fine. I'd really like just like plain white bedding, but it doesn't look like that's really an option. Um, is there one that doesn't have a pattern? <laughs> No, they all have patterns, some of them uglier than others. Um, okay, well, let's go, let's go with a different bed. I don't particularly care for the look of any of those. We're going to need something pretty small for these rooms, though, like little single beds. Uh, what about this? I... Solid color would be good, but these are all ugly. So not that bad either. <laughs> what about this one? This is nice and simple. Doesn't get much more simple than this, in fact. Will it fit right 
Oh, it'll just fit right there. Okay. So, let's see. Cedar? Give us a nice darker color. And then just put that right there. And this will just fit. And then that leaves us just enough room for a chest of drawers. Maybe we go... Maybe this one. That actually looks okay. Put that here. And then just to kind of fill out the room, let's find a nice tall plant. Maybe something like this. <laughs> it's not much, but it's something. Uh, and then let's look for shelves. Get some cedar shelves and let's just go one, two, three. Oh, now it's got to go over. There we go. So just put some shelves here and we have a tiny little bedroom. It's not much, but it's a bedroom. A little small for my taste, but you know, you got to work with the space that you've got. And I do want to fit two bedrooms down here. Let's look at ceiling lamps. Let's go with this one right here. That's a nice... Uh, that probably looks okay. Light switches. Put one there. So that's what this bedroom will look like. And then we know we're going to put a light switch right here as well. I just realized there's actually a light in here that I didn't even see. But something like this... Um, yeah, that'll do. It needs something on the wall, I think. Let's just get a... A picture photo? How's, how big is that? Ooh, that's not bad. Put that right there. Matches the color tones of the rest of the room. I think it will do... And then just for some added something, let's paint the walls in here a different color. Maybe like a light blue? What about like sky blue? How does this look? Um, maybe? I'm not sold on it, though. Yeah. I don't like it. Different shade of blue. Let's go with royal blue. I think this is more of like the... This is more what I was thinking, I think. Yeah, that's much better. That's much, much better. My thinking here with the royal blue is, you know, we've got uh, plenty of white already because we've got this kind of white carpet. But then we have this picture of a ship up on the wall. So maybe we go with like kind of an oceany theme, you know, something like that. We can sell this. I think this actually needs to be scooted over just a tiny bit that way. And then I th think somewhere. Is it under bathroom, maybe? No. Somewhere there's a, a, a like a ship. Ah, there it is. That's what I'm looking for, right there. There's like a steering wheel. So whoever lives in this room has a, a thing for sailing, I guess, is our, our, uh, our idea. I don't know. I think it works. I like it. Uh, okay. So now for this bedroom, and I think this one, we're going to do kind of something similar. We've got very little space yet again. So let's go maybe a different bed. Honestly, I like this bed quite a lot when you're working in tight spaces because it has a drawer built into it, which if I was in a, uh, if I was in a bedroom in real life that had very limited space like this, I would absolutely make use of space under the bed in the form of a drawer. 
just to kind of maximize that. Uh, let's look at our options here. The, some of these don't work as well as you might think. Like you look at this one and then you realize it's only this big, which is not very big at all. So there's actually a lot, uh, the options for these things are a lot more limited. Uh, but let's maybe go here. That should match the bed fairly well. And we'll just put that right there. So we've got our dresser. Uh, let's get a little bedside table. Maybe something simple like this. Just put that right there. And let's find a lamp. Something... maybe that one. Yeah, that looks okay. I like it. Okay. Now, to decorate the room, we need to have a ceiling lamp in here, so we'll go with the same one we went with in the other room. Like, somewhere right up. Ooh, that's way off. Maybe about there. That looks good. We need to fill the wall space. Let's grab a guitar. We'll hang a guitar right here. And maybe put a TV on the wall above the dresser, like right there. I personally can't fall asleep without a TV on. That's just me. And then maybe a painting of some sort on the wall. Maybe like a... Something like that, maybe? Yeah, that's not bad. Again, a very simple little bedroom, but you gotta work with what you got. There's not a whole lot of space to work with here. But, you know, they do have a shared bathroom, so, you know, all in all, could be much worse. And now we just need to tackle this space out here. And I think what I want to do is go floor tiles. Let's get... Uh, Maybe something like this? How's this look? Mm, I'm gonna say no to that. I think this is better. Especially since it kind of matches the stairs a little bit. And that doesn't... Yeah, it's not really visible in these rooms, which is good. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is... Let's put in a washer. Uh, washer plumbing system. I think we'll put that, like, right here. a washer and then we need to assemble it which involves every single uh, appliance basically has a little mini game type deal thing like this some of them take much longer than others I'd say the washing machine is somewhere in the middle it's not as long as some of them but it is uh, it's not super, super short either. There we go. So we've got our washing machine. And then let's get a... Oop, can't spell. A uh, clothes dryer as well. Let's put that right there. This one doesn't actually need an installation of any kind. You can just put it down. And then let's get a laundry basket. And we'll just put that right there. So we got a little laundry area here in the basement. And then the two bedrooms, which have a shared bathroom. So that works pretty well. I, I, I think the house is done. Uh, excuse me, what happened to all of my... No, they're still there. The game is just a little buggy sometimes, and it's not uh, recognizing them <laughs> for some reason. Actually, all the plants and stuff are 
vanished. I'm not sure why. That's weird. Um, but we can put in some more plants. Let's just put in... Uh, oh, those are real tiny. I'm, I'm looking for bigger than that. Let's get maybe like... Something like that's still super tiny. It's fine, though. The idea is just fill up the flower bed with things. And then I think we are ready to sell the house. We'll, we'll try the garden contest. I don't think we'll actually really get much, but... Oh, look at that. We actually did. So we get a 10% bonus just for mowing the lawn and putting in a couple flowers. Not too bad. So, put the house on auction. We spent two hours working on this house all together. And let's see what we get for it. How much did we put into the house all together? About... Third, we'll say 15,000, but then we sold a bunch of... We sold a bunch of stuff, including that painting. So 115,000 minus 60, we put roughly, I don't know, 50, 50, 55,000 in, somewhere around there. Not bad. Uh, and we're going to make 124,000 in profit. That's not bad, considering we put like 55,000 into this. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to accept the offer. I'm not going to try and haggle. We'll just go with it. So now we get our before and after shots. There's the money shot right there. <laughs> That's the one where you're like, oh, we did something. Not too bad. And we cleaned everything else up as well. So there we go. Another house taken care of. Uh, guys, I want you to let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, we did uh, we did most of the stuff the normal way with the jump cuts and stuff, but then at the end, we uh, we did a little bit of it together. Let me know what you prefer. Keep in mind that I, I don't want these videos to be like two hours long, so um, there's going to be jump cuts no matter what. But uh, let me know if you want to see more of the building on camera stuff, or if you just want to uh, see the progress updates like I've been doing. But I think I'm going to call this episode here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.